I'm a product manager in Digital Experience and I would like to show you how you can enable session replay to your Dynatrace apps. Let's first go to the Digital Experience menu on the left hand side, pick Web and then pick the application of interest. Then we go to its settings and on the Enablement and Cost Control tab. Prerequisite to enable session replay is to have real user monitoring. And after enabling, you need to specify the cost and traffic control, which is the percentage of user sessions that are captured and analyzed by us. Session replay comes on top. You need to enable session replay and uh, it has its own cost and traffic control settings. So let's give you an example. You have here 50% of uh, real user monitoring and 50% for session replay. This will result to having 25% of the total sessions monitored with replay. After enabling, it's very important to go to data privacy and configure the privacy setting. Real user monitoring is essential and session replay inherits all its privacy settings like mask and user IP addresses, mask personal data and URIs and more. Now, the next step, you go to session replay privacy and you can define URLs to be excluded. So these web pages and views will not be recorded, but then you have also the session replay masking settings, which is mask all when you have to mask everything, mask user input where input fields and list boxes are masked, allow list where you specify which elements and attributes should not be masked, and with block list you specify the opposite, the elements and attributes that need to be masked. There are masking settings on recording, but also for some users there are masking settings on playback. So you can have more restrictive uh, settings for this kind of users. Please have in mind that session replay privacy and user and experience, they have a relation and you need to find the fine balance for your application. Next up, let's go to, to mobile. Again, you go to the list of apps you would like to monitor. You pick the one of interest and you go to settings in order to enable the session replay. Same, same story, you, you need to enable your real user monitoring first and then session replay comes after. At, th at this stage, we offer only session replay on crashes for native Android and iOS app. But what about the privacy? For the privacy, you need to configure in code the privacy settings. And there are three levels. Safest, which is the almost identical to the mask call, safe where all editable fields are masked and custom. For the custom, you need to go to the code level and apply changes as we explain here on the examples. Another important aspect is that you can set up at which mode you want to transmit the images that are necessary for replay to the cluster. And it's either through Wi-Fi or mobile network. If you prefer not to increase the mobile um, volumes of data, we advise you to, to use Wi-Fi, which is the default. And thanks for watching.